Okay, so now now what we want to do is to um, use the basket. Okay, I'll put a basket in there. It's just an image. Okay, so if you look at that page here, I've added a row and I've added an icon. So it's got nothing next to it. Okay, uh, if I want to put a number next to it and put a paragraph in there, I think. And in a paragraph. Zoom up and do that. So let's have a look. Uh, basket, and it's got two there. Okay, but. Um, Yeah, yeah, I think that's how we could do that, or we could put a two next to it. Uh, yeah, so how are we going to identify that? So I think what we'll do is we'll put a span in here. Span. Okay, that's just another way of dividing something up. I'm going to put in there. So I'm going to put an ID equals uh, bas basket count. Okay, and I'm going to put a num break in space there. Hopefully, that will show that. There we go. There's a bit of a space and there's a non breaking space there. Now, I can do what I like with that. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is to show you how do we add to the basket. Okay. So, we've got a button on the page that's here where we add to the basket. Okay, so on here, I've added a button manually. Now, remember, we can do this um, uh, auto dynamically as well, but this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to take that. It's called basket, and I'm going to say in here, get single book. So I'm going to make a subroutine which says on click of that. Basket. So again, we just say dot on and then click and then function, open brackets, and then curly brackets. All right, so this is what happens when we do an on click of this. So basically what we need to do is to make sure we add something to the session storage for the basket. Okay. So on get all books right what i'm going to add is in the we've got main in here um we just got get all books so before get all books i'm gonna open i'm gonna set a session storage okay so i'm gonna say session storage or set item okay Set item, call it basket. Uh, okay, and I'm going to make that an empty list. So I'm going to say JSON dot stringify, and I'm going to say an empty list. Okay, so session storage. Session storage and good, and then that will make me an empty list. So if I just go back and have a look, go back a page, show all the books. Right, so if we go to application here, basket. So the basket's got nothing in it. So literally, what I'm going to do is when I click on add to basket, I'm going to make it put stuff into that list. Okay, they're going to pen to that list. So it's a very straightforward process. So I'll do for both. Let's do for the single book. 
So when I do this, I'm going to add that into the basket. So add item to okay. So the item, the current item, is already in session storage. We're on this single page, right? So let's session. So I'm going to get that back. I'm going to say JSON dot pass. And then I'm going to get the session storage item. Session storage dot get item. And it's going to it is this book. Okay. And then I'm going to add it to the basket. So I'm going to get the basket. Doing the same thing equals JSON dot pass a session storage uh, get item uh, what was it um, basket. Item basket, so that passes it, and I'm going to add the book into here. So I'm going to say basket dot append. Uh, no, it's push, isn't it? Push in JavaScript. I'm going to push the current item. Okay, push the current item, and then I'm going to save it back. So I'm going to say uh, session storage dot set item uh, all in basket. And I'm going to say JSON dot stringify uh, basket. Okay. So what we've just done, we've we have grab the current item okay. and then we have grabbed the basket and then we are add item to the basket and then we save the basket. So that's, in theory, that's what he's going to do. Um, now, if I refresh that, so the basket is here. I'm going to go to view details. We're facing the crowd. And I'm going to say add to basket. There you go. It's added it into my basket. And you can see that. Now, if we don't want to stop it from adding this, we might add up some other things in here, quantity and things like that. We should. We should. And we should add that to the basket, but I'm just going to, um, so you can stop it from adding the same thing again. So you can use if uh, not basket dot includes uh, well, do this. So you might want to add a routine to see if it's already if, if it's already in the basket. You might have a different quantity and so on. Um, so it might not be exactly the same. So you'll I'll let you do that. Okay. So you might want to ask if it's already in there. Okay. Because at the moment it will keep adding the same item to the basket. Now, if we're doing that in here, um, let's look on our card where we can add to basket. Um, here, add to basket button. So then we just add an on click into the dynamic, doing exactly the same thing. On click, and then function brackets, and we're going to basically do the same thing. Right, so I'm going to copy these. Right. 
Right, but this time the current item is not the session storage. So the current item is the button. Now this is on the button. Okay, so this is where we go back here. Okay, this is this button here. Okay, so I can just add them to the basket from here. So I need to get it's dollar this because I'm inside the button code. Okay, and it's the data. And it's the data is called this book here, there. That should be all the details about the book, about that book. And then basket that grabs the basket, pushes the current item to it, and then it sets the item. Uh, save the basket. Okay, so that should do the same. Um, and then, and then all we'll need to do is to count the basket. But I'll do that in a different video, right? But that should then add to the basket as well. So let's have a look at our basket here. It's reset itself. Okay, so I want that one faces in the crowd. You can see that's there. Um, let's have 40 pounds of trouble. So that's added that there as well. Okay, so you can see it's adding to the basket. Now, what I do with that basket, I, that's just JSON now. And I can use that. And if I want to put it on my page, the basket somewhere on my page, I can put it somewhere on my page. Now, you should have enough now to be able to to get on and do the things that you need to do. You've just got to adapt what I've been doing and look about the simplicity of it. Okay, look at this. This is just adding to the basket, getting the current item, opening the basket, adding a new item, saving the basket. Okay, it, 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 you think about the processes that are involved and what needs to happen, and the code is very straightforward.